we've been running an innovators competition. This is for people who are creating new technologies and they want to uh, make them make a change in the world and also make a big profit. And uh, we have been working with nine of them, nine companies, really interesting people, ranging from uh, solar cell technology through to uh, clean water, through to uh, uh, detecting of new viruses, through to new methods of uh, lithium batteries, recycling car tires, <laughs> all kinds of things. And it's been very interesting. They had 60 seconds each to convince the audience that they should win this competition. And then the audience voted and we've selected three and then the big day will come tomorrow. I can't tell you who the winner is yet, but it's been good fun. Zvanti is in heat pump technology. Actually, he's the guy I told you about who's in Poland. Very interesting technology, could change our world. And you have 60 seconds. Are you ready? And are the lights ready? Uh, technology ready? You're going to see a clock counting down. And then, uh, where's the bell? Well, I have the bell here. I was carrying it all the time. <laughs> just put it away. And the big bell will count you out. Are you ready now? Yeah. One, two, three, and 60 seconds starting now. Green buildings is one of the largest growing areas within clean tech today. As you've seen, heat pump technology can lower the energy need by 50%, but at the same time, it decreases the cost and the payback time to almost 15 years. Now, React has developed a device that increases the efficiency of the heat pump within the building. So we were able to reduce the energy need by 85%. 85%, that's pretty good, right? But the really beautiful thing is that the increase in installation cost is only a slight more. So we have paybacks time of almost one year. Now we have our first customer. We're doing the reference installation. It's finished in June this year. We have uh, several other customers in line, and we're now seeking finance of about 500,000 euros in this year. And next year, we're going to do the next round. Thank you for your attention. Whoa! Way. <laughs> Whoa, congratulations. You Counting know you down. One, two, three, and you Go. have 60 seconds. We take biomass and sludges and we run it in our process to get a clean energy gas out. We sell this to industrial customers at a price below oil, well, even below coal. And we, we have tested this technology in uh, in lab scale, we have run pilot tests with different feedstocks. We are now with our first customer here in Sweden to build our first demonstration plant. And it's gonna be a five megawatt plant running in, in, for a long-term contract. We have a, a financing from soft loans and from, from uh, our suppliers, but we need some external financing. And we need 3 million euros to realize this and to move into this industrial heating market, which is worth something like 40 billion euros per year. Whoa, well done. Very good. Okay. <laughs> well done. One, two, three. You have 60 seconds starting now. Identification of new viruses takes days, sometimes weeks. Imagine. Next time there is an outbreak of a new virus, someone in your family could die before the virus is identified. We at Vironova have developed a fast and objective method for identifying viruses. Cutting lead times from days to minutes. We are seeking 2.5 million euros to develop the product, put it into every hospital around the world, to save the lives of our children, our grandchildren, and to capture a big portion of a multi-billion dollar market. Please visit us at our booth. We are Viranova. Thank you very much. Hey, well done. Hey. Even inside. Seven Listen. seconds. You know. uh, this uh, one, two, three, go. Thank you. By the year 2050, 80% of the world's population will live in cities. And we won't have land enough to grow food to feed every one of us. Um, our innovation that was developed almost 20 years ago by a person called Åke Olsson, he's probably in here somewhere, allows us to grow ecological food in storages and sell it directly to consumers inside cities. 
Um, we developed the innovation itself so far now, so we are not in need for any more capital for the development itself. So we're actually looking for clients now. We eagerly seek cities and partnerships with uh, people that wants to help us to bring these um, vertical greenhouses into cities. This is an innovation that is really, really needed. And I also think that this kind of cooperation between our kind of business culture and the sustainable thinking. Oh, very good.